guys, so today I'll be showing you how to get this makeup look. Before a couple of days, I got a comment on one of my videos by Leticia Romero. I hope I pronounced your name right. I tried. She asked if I could make a rose, gold or blush eyeshadow look. So I thought it was a great idea to create a tutorial on a look like that for the Valentine's Day. And this is what I came up with. I love the combination of pink and gold. I think it looks very pretty. This look is also very soft and girly so you can definitely wear it on the Valentine's Day. Let me know down in the comments what you would like to see next and I would be happy to do it for you. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and let's get started. Okay, so I've already primed and moisturized my face with the Bioderma Sebum Hydra. And now for foundation, I'll be using the Rimmel Match Perfection and it's in shade Ivory. And I'm going to apply it with my Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush. Now on my under eye area, I'm going to apply the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hours Concealer. I love this one because it has that pinky undertone in it, which is helping to cover the blue underneath my eyes. And on top of it, I'm going to apply the LA Girl Pro Conceal in shade Porcelain. And this is just going to give brightness. And I'm going to set it with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and it's in shade Transparent. Okay, so now I'm going to fill in my brows using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade in shade Medium Brown. And I'm shaping them with a very small angled eyeliner brush from Essence. Okay, so now that I have my eyebrows done and I apply just a little bit primer on my eyelids, I'm taking this shade right here. It's from the Too Faced Matte Eye Palette and I'm going to buff it in my crease. And this is going to be my transition shade. Okay, so next I'm taking this shade here that it's called Coffee Bean and I'm going to apply it with the same brush just in the outer portion of my eyes. And I'm also blending it just a little bit in the crease. Now I'm taking just a white pencil and I'm going to apply it on my lid. And I'm going to stop somewhere here so I don't mess up the brown eyeshadow that I applied. And now with a flat brush I'm just going to blend out the edges so it's nice and smooth. Okay, so now for my Makeup Revolution Eyes Like Angels palette, I'm taking this shade right here, this one, and it's called Pink, okay. 
and I'm going to pack it on top of that white pencil. Next, on top of that pink eyeshadow, I'm going to apply this shimmery gold eyeshadow here. It's again from that Makeup Revolution palette and it's called Pearl Necklace and I'll be using my finger to apply it. Now with a small blending brush, I'm just going to diffuse the edges. Okay, now to add a little bit more dimension, I'm taking this dark warm brown shade from the Catrice Chocolate Nudes eyeshadow palette. And with that same brush, I'm just applying it in the other corner of my eye. And I'm taking it in my crease as well. And I make sure that everything is nice and blended with a big fluffy brush. To highlight my brow bone, I'm taking this shade here, again from that Makeup Revolution palette. And it's called Cream. I'm also going to highlight the inner corners of my eyes with it. On my lower lash line, I'm going to apply again that warm brown eyeshadow from the Catrice Chocolate Nudes eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to keep it just in the other portion of my eye. So now it's time for eyeliner and I'll be using my Essence Liquid Ink Eyeliner. Okay, so now I'm going to blow on some falsies and I'll be back. Going back to the face, I'm going to contour with this shade right here. This is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Sculpt and Contour Kit and it's in shade Ultra Fair. Then I'm going to apply the blush. with the highlighter from the kit. Next I'm going to line my lips with my Essence Lip Liner and it's in shade Wish Me A Rose. Next I'm going with my Rimmel Lipstick and it's in shade Undressed. So this is the finished look, I hope you like it. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy watching my tutorials. And I'm gonna see you guys soon, bye!